Oh, okay, I see that we're live now. Yeah. So thanks, Aubrey, for being our first guest uh, guest on the virtual Buy Local NJ show. Uh, we, Thank you for we... having me. No pressure. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. We're all in our home studios. But uh, we visited Unwind Yoga. I, I just looked, and it was back in May of last year, so almost a year oh, wow. ago. So wow. much has changed. Yes. Um, I mean, I, we wanted to circle back with you to see how, first off, how are you doing and how is your family doing? Uh, we're good here, thankfully. Um, everybody's been, you know, kind of hunkered in. They've been good about homeschooling so far. So knock on wood, that stays that way. Um, we're on spring break this week, so that's been interesting. Um, but no, everybody's good. We're thankful. I don't my daughter had cancer, um, actually two years ago. So we're thankful we're in a better place now because she's actually coming up on the two year anniversary. So we're actually really thankful. Um, this is not April 2018 because we'd be, you know, in a very different place at this time. So we are insanely thankful. And the good news is we've got experience in isolating and being germaphobes. So <laughs> there is yeah. positive. In <laughs> <laughs> I'm the same in because my my daughter's a preemie. She was a 25 weeker. So we That's were right. germaphobes for at least six months after we brought yeah. her home. So we were know. washing, yeah, washing the hands constantly. We know that. Yep. Know and, that and drill. Watching who came in the house and who didn't. So I'm like, you know what? There are positives that come out of those types of experiences. So, and we're, again, we're thankful that, you know, we're in a different place now than we were. So we're, Kind of embracing the slower pace here um you know we get to eat dinner together which we don't always do during the week um so we've embraced that there's no commuting for any of us so trying to find the positive in hanging out at a slower pace <laughs> yeah for sure and how is unwind yoga adapting to the new environment since people can't visit the studio anymore or at least yeah, for now yeah. <laughs> um i know right exactly um, it's been, it's been kind of crazy. We got very, you know, agile very quickly. Um, we are doing online classes. So we're doing both live stream as well as on demand via, you know, YouTube. So, um, you know, people can use their class packages and get to us either, you know, live stream with all the teachers that they love. Um, and then also offering a recorded class every single day so that that aren't exactly the same as what they were before all of this. We're giving a lot of options to everybody. So again, live streaming at various times with our teachers, as well as an on-demand option every day. So somebody can access it any time of day and be able to get yoga with a teacher that they know and like um, all the time. But it caused us to kind of pause for a minute and be like, oh, what are we gonna do? And you know, and we thought taping classes was important because then people could access them whenever they wanted to because schedules are different now, especially with kids home. Um, and then also the live stream option because there is that connection piece where you know, you're seeing people that you know from class and you're seeing teachers that you know, and, and you can have a little bit of conversation before and after class like we normally did. Um, some other things that we're doing also, though, in, in the live stream and the um, on demand is we're doing them a couple different ways. One, you can use your class packages, but we're trying every week to offer a variety of free classes, you know, so, you know, people might not have the same means as what they had before, or, you know, maybe there's somebody that wants to try it, but don't feel comfortable. So offering both live stream and on demand free classes, as well as now we're starting this week with some donation based classes as well that are shorter in time frame. So also realizing that people might not be able to do an hour, maybe they only have half an hour. So offering that um, and doing that for not only adults, but also kids um, and families. So yeah, and we we took the family class this weekend. It was a lot of fun. And we actually saw one of Chloe's former classmates there, which was, <laughs> right? fun, which so was they got a to surprise. Connect a little bit. <laughs> yeah. What are you finding is the positive doing kind of these virtual classes that maybe have well, maybe surprised you? Yes. Um, actually, we've gotten some like friends of friends that are coming from, say, Michigan or Florida <laughs> that are attending that hmm. normally. Um, we're actually also getting some other people that went to other places, whether it was a gym and, and you know, um, or people that were regulars for, with us for years, but couldn't really na navigate the time. We're finding that they're coming back to the to the studio now virtually, which is good. Um, we're also finding 
it's easier sometimes. Like I teach a lot of early morning classes. We're getting actually more people in the early mornings because it's easier to kind of roll out of bed and not go anywhere. Just go to your mat and, and come. So that's been a pleasant surprise for us that we are getting a variety. Our, some of our regulars, then we're getting a variety of um, different people that are coming. And from locations that, yes, they want to practice with us and they only do when they're in town. But now they can, you know, from the city or, you know, from Pennsylvania or from Michigan, you know, because they're not always here. So that's been a pleasant surprise is getting some people that, you know, we didn't, you know, we don't always have. They're usually visitors, but now they can do it more often, which is kind of exciting. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's great. And I mean, I feel like since we're stuck at home, it's so important to maintain these different routines and yeah. I guess it's a, it's almost a spiritual p practice and exercise as well, which is great. Yes, absolutely. And it's, again, it's been a way of connecting and I think people feel better. Like, yes, you can get yoga online from anywhere, you know, just Google that. But I think it's been a nice way of people connecting with people that they feel comfortable with and that they know. And I think that's been a really nice piece of it like that's what we wanted to offer but i think that's what um you know we're seeing happening that people are liking to connect with teachers that they know and love and feel comfortable with and i think that's hopefully helping people through it that it's you know it's connecting to people that you know like you know what their energy is so seeing them online helps a bit yeah of course and how do people book your classes so you can either go to our website um, and there's a link for classes and that'll take you right there. And once you register for class, it'll populate an email that sends you the link to either the on-demand version or the live stream, depending on what you registered for. Or if you've got the Mind Body app, um, same way as you always did every class, um, you can register that way. And we felt really uh, that it was really important to make it super easy and seamless. You don't have to do this extra thing or go to this extra thing or price it this way or whatever that is. We, we made it seamless. So it's just like you were coming to the studio you register the same exact way, you know, same exact pricing, even if it's, you know, a free class that we're offering, same registration. So trying to make it really easy. The only thing we've had to have people do is get Zoom because um, mm. right now that's how we're doing the live classes. So, but we've got a portion of our website dedicated to how to do that. Just again, to make it easier because it's not easy for everybody and not everybody's as, you know, electronically friendly. So trying to help some of, you know, the older clientele that we have, be able to access it a little easier but also the on-demand is easy because you just click on it and it takes you to youtube which has been easy i think for people and it sounds like you have some free classes so people can try it out and also do you have specials that you guys are offering for new new clients yes so we have a new client special that we're doing um and that's actually been um, decent for us we've got some new people that are coming through that so we have a new client special um so you get on it's 49 dollars. it's unlimited classes both on demand as well as live stream um and so you know that's been that's been helpful and again we're offering a bunch of free classes for both adults as well as kids uh, my daughter has also gotten into taping some things with us and we've been providing that to various charities in the area like the valerie fund um, and the american childhood cancer organization we're taping classes for them so that they can offer it to their population who naturally are sort of a bit more anxious because they're in treatment and things like that they giving them a way to access something different um, we did a free class for the Girl Scouts. So we're trying to also pay it forward right now as much as possible, you know, helping, you know, using some of these yoga and meditation and anti-anxiety um, and anti-fear methods that we have and that we, you know, perpetuate in the studio, trying to offer that to other people during this time, free of charge, just helping people, you know, find other ways of accessing this, you know, this <laughs> new day that we're in because it's, you know, it's not something everybody has been through before. So trying to give some of the tools that we have at the studio and with our beautiful teachers to the public, um, however we can. And how are you finding ways to support the local businesses in around you in giving back? Because it's, I don't know, it's, we're all worried about how Main Street is going to change after this. So how are you supporting? local businesses yes. and how should people support unwind as well absolutely absolutely so we're you know in social media because i think that, that seems to be the the best way right now um, we're making sure we're tagging you know all of our friendly businesses all, actually at the beginning of this between all like our kind of neighbors in that whole section where we are in new providence we all you know kind of talk to each other like how are you doing it how are you doing it let's band together and figure it out so we're offering similar things to each other to help each other if we're all going on zoom and going live and and things like that, we did communicate to try and help 
be, um, you know, have, you know, camaraderie between the, the studios and the different entities. Um, but we're trying to shout out to everybody like, you know, okay, take a class here, but then go over there and get takeout from, you know, one of the other businesses that we have, whether it's Juice House, whether it's Bagel Shop, whether it's, you know, the pizza place across the street. So we're trying to make sure that we're tagging each other um, and communicating to each other to do that. We've also been trying to post, and I've noticed some of our, you know, neighbors as well, you know, different ways of supporting you know, the other businesses, and we've been populating it in a section of our newsletters that we send each week, you know, what can you do? You know, is it getting takeout? Is it buying gift cards? Is it giving them a nice review online, whether, you know, whatever vehicle you feel comfortable with, whether it's Yelp or Google or MindBody or whatever that is, we've been kind of giving tidbits of, hey, here's how you can help. And there's ways to help free of charge. I mean, giving a rating is free and that's positive for all of us. So we've been trying to perpetuate that, not only for obviously our studio, which, you know, we pray is there at the end of this, but also for the other businesses, because, you know, a lot of the stuff in yoga is all about, you know, karma. So if we're, you know, giving it to other people, then in theory, it'll also come back and the love will just spread. So we're, that's how we're trying to do it. And again, you know, mentioning it on our media posts, as well as in our newsletters every week, just ideas for people that they might not have thought of. Yeah, that's awesome. And I mean, I think, in times of crisis, it seems like everyone comes together yes. and it sounds like people get stronger in the end. Yes, that's what I think has been so amazing because it can go different ways. You know, it can bring out the worst in people. It can bring out the best in people. And I truly do think, I mean, the majority of small businesses around New Jersey, but especially in New Providence, I think have really, you know, with the support of the mayor and support of, you know, even like other local businesses, I think everybody's really been, you know, pushing for each other, you know, in a community um, you know, in an even way. And I think that's, that's really nice to see. Uh, it makes everybody feel good. And, you know, it might not be like that everywhere, but I'm fortunate it is where we are. Great. Thanks so much, Aubrey, for sharing the time with us and talking about how you guys are changing your business. Um, if our viewers out there, definitely check out Unwind Yoga, try class. Uh, it's definitely great when you're, when you're at home, you need to, um, expand your mind and expand your body, uh, do everything uh, that is helpful to you. Um, remember to sh support all these great local businesses and we look forward to the, to the day when we can go back to the studio and visit all these other great businesses out, out and about. Thanks so much. Uh, and Thank you so much, Chris and Andy. You guys are amazing what you do. Um, it's, it's really amazing what you do and I think it helps the community so, so much. So we, all of us, on behalf of all the businesses, we are thankful to what you do to, to help all of us. So thank you for that. Oh, we appreciate it. Thanks so much. Have a great day and definitely stay healthy, stay happy. <laughs> thank you, you too, and everybody watching. Everybody, yes. And check out, we've got free classes, so everybody should come. <laughs> cool. Great. All right, thank you so much. Have a good one. You too. <laughs> Bye. Bye.